This figure shows the overall processing of a message to produce a hash value. The first step is padding, so that the message is a multiple of 1024 bits, because the message is going to be processed block by block, and each block has 1024 bits. The padding bits are appended to the last block of the message. First, we leave the last 128 bits to store the length of the original message, that is, the length before the padding. Then for the space between the original message and the last 128 bits, we add 1 and the number of zeros necessary to fill up the space. And that's how padding works. After padding, then the message is processed one block at a time. Again, each block has 1024 bits. The logic of per block processing is described in the next slide. The result of processing the current block is the input to the processing of the next block. That is, when processing the second block, the input includes not only the second message block, but also the output of the processing of the first block. And for the first block, the input includes the IV. The IV is a 512-bit value hard-coded in the algorithm. Again, the message is processed one block at a time. At each block, the input includes the output of the processing of the previous block. And the result of the processing of the last block is the hash of the entire message. Now let's take a look at the processing of a message block. The processing involves 80 rounds. The input includes not only the current message block, but also the result of the processing of the previous block. And the result of the processing of the current block will be the input to the processing of the next block. The result from the processing of the previous block is a 512-bit value. And it is divided into 8 64-bit values. And they are A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. Again, the processing involves 80 rounds. At each round, the inputs include the result from the previous round, some constant k, and some words derived from the current message block. The constants here provide randomized values, and the purpose is to eliminate any regularities with the input data. The operations at each round include circular shifts and primitive Boolean functions based on AND, OR, NOT, and XOR. The output of the last round is added to the input to the first round, and the result will be used in the processing of the next message block.